went to the old temple. But Mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. I went hunting with Mother a bunch of times. He never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. Okay. Draugr! Something's got to open that gate. in place. Clever. what you started.
So finally I get to actually narrate a video. I know it's been pretty much two and a half videos or maybe, is this the second one? I'll have to look that up. But anyway, I may, I may be narrating these out of order. <laughs> so this is going to be our first kind of real boss fight that we're going to be running into. And he is the Daudi, uh, Daudi Kaupmadur. I have no idea how to pronounce those Norse type words. So that was probably horrifically incorrect. But Whatever it is, it's a giant ogre, and it's probably related to Shrek in some form or another, and we just gotta take him out. So, this game seems to have taken a page from the Dark Souls combat, meaning that it's gonna make sure that if you think you're safe, you're not actually safe when you're out of her, you're attacking the guy. He's always gonna have a way to hurt you from any direction and anything you're doing, and the best thing that you can do is just try to dodge this guy's attacks, use your son to shoot some arrows at the guy so that way you'll be able to actually distract him a little bit and you'll be able to get a few hits off that way and also avoid the gigantic pillar of stone he's got with it. Now this is relatively new into my God of War playthrough so I'm still getting used to the controls. It's not so much that I'm finding the combat difficult right now, I'm just not used to games putting the melee attacks on the triggers. So in this case R1 and R2 are your melee attacks. In games that I've been playing forever, I guess, I'm just so used to X being that kind of attack. I don't really know why that is, but X just feels like, not X, but I guess it's, what is it, it's square? No, not triangles, no, okay, it is square. So on the PlayStation, it would be square. I feel like I should be pushing square, which is X on the Xbox controller. And I guess that's like, no wait, no, there's that, yeah, yeah, that is X on the Xbox controller. And I think that's Y on the Nintendo controller. So I don't know, they, they mess up everything. But either way, I'm not used to pushing like the R keys to melee attacks. I'm getting kind of used to that at this point in the boss fight. And that's not really the best time to get used to this. You can also block, I think we can block at this point if you push R or L1. If we can't block yet, then we'll be able to very soon. And later on, we're going to end up fighting more of these guys because that's just the way these games work. They give you a boss fight and then they end up becoming a somewhat common enemy throughout the game. Yeah, you'll be able to block his attacks and he's a little bit easier to deal with. I get really close to dying here because, as I said kind of out of the page of Dark Souls, they make sure that the guy is going to be able to hit you from pretty much any direction that he's in. And I think at this point I ran out of crystals that I could pick up because I already took a lot of pretty fatal damage later on. But figured out here if we get kind of close to his feet, he seems to really do this ground slamming attack a lot more often. And I don't know if I just got lucky here, but he sure didn't seem to stop me. But that's it for that boss. Once he's taken down, you just push R3, you click the analog stick in, and there you go. You get this cool little cutscene, and that'll be it for me in this game. Boy! Boy! Look at me! We did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I've proved myself! How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. <laughs> <laughs> 